kids, it's Susan, Fitness from the Pro. V-A-C-A-T-I-O-N, going on vacation. And who wants to pack their dumbbells and make your suitcase heavier? Nobody. So I have the next best thing, the bands. These I happen to call bandles because they're bands with handles, hence bandle. But let me just tell you that they come in different tensions and different resistance. This green one here, for instance, is a very light resistance. Then we have a little bit thicker band, which is the red band. The, a little bit heavier is the blue band. And then our heaviest one here is this gray band. And go ahead and take a look at the thickness of the band. Just be mindful, the thicker the band, the more resistance, the heavier it's going to be. But today, I'm going to use the red band, kind of a medium-sized band. And I've got six exercises that we're gonna do. Our first exercise is gonna be great for your posture. It is a back exercise. So I'm going to hold my arms about shoulder width apart, my arms are shoulder height. Keeping the elbow just slightly bent, I'm gonna open up those arms, bringing that band toward my chest and then squeezing the shoulder blades together behind me. So those palms kinda of come a little bit behind your body and then you're gonna inhale and, and release. Exhale and open and squeeze the shoulder blades. See, you're already standing up nice and tall. Inhale and release. As usual, I'm going to suggest 12 repetitions, but if it's really too heavy for you, then just do what you can and then add a little more as you become stronger. Okay, that was our first exercise for our back. We've got a full body uh, little program for you here today. So now, back, and I'm gonna move on to chest, opposing muscle groups. Now, if I just hold on to the handle here, my arms are extended. I don't have any resistance at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab up a little bit higher on that band on each side. And then when I extend those arms, I've got a lot more resistance. And if you're gonna be working out, you might as well get something out of it, right? So go ahead and stand up nice and tall. I like to start with my elbows lifted and my shoulders are relaxed relax my palms are facing the floor and then you're just going to extend those arms and squeeze that chest together and then pull those elbows back exhale extend i can feel it in my chest working right now inhale and relax a couple of things to be mindful of is we're not up here with those shoulders those shoulders are away from our ears and release exhale extend inhale and release another option those palms can face each other and pull it back those palms face each other and pull back now if you find that's still a little bit more uh, challenging than you're used to or you're comfortable with you can always do one arm at a time alternating those arms but i want you to get that full extension of the arms and make sure you have tension on the band the range of motion is the most important thing that I'm looking for. Don't make it so heavy that you can't get that full range of motion. I want you to get the range of motion with tension instead of no tension and full range of motion. Again, we're gonna do 12. So another chest exercise we can do is this time those arms are already extended. The palms are facing each other. We're gonna open up those arms, slight bend in the elbow, exhale, bring those arms together as if you're hugging somebody. Inhale and open, exhale and squeeze. Once again, this is called your chest fly. Exhale and squeeze, keep those shoulders relaxed. Inhale, open, exhale and squeeze. And then go ahead and pull those arms back. Now we're moving on and you already know that I like to multitask. So this one is going to be a lunge with a bicep curl, okay? So I'm gonna put it underneath the band, underneath my right foot. And listen kids, make sure that band is safe and secure underneath that right foot, okay? Because if the band isn't secure, it's gonna pop up 
And I know firsthand, it's painful when that happens. All right, so we're gonna take this right, uh, this left leg, and we're gonna step it back. <clears throat> and I want you to keep that left heel lifted. Pull your belly button into the spine, and, or yeah, into the spine. And those palms are just gonna face forward. So we're gonna practice our lunge here. We're gonna bend into that right knee. You're bending both legs. That right knee is just above the ankle and you're gonna stand up nice and tall, okay? Bending both knees and you push through that right heel. And I want you to stand up tall or not leaning forward. And I want you to keep that right knee behind your toe. Okay, so here we are. We're bending, we've got our lunge. Now we're gonna stand and I want you to give me a bicep curl, keeping those elbows tucked in. Inhale, lengthen, but bending those knees, exhale, bicep curl. Inhale and lengthen, exhale, good. So we're multitasking here. We're doing that lunge for your legs and the bicep curl, okay? So go ahead and step forward, and we're gonna switch it out. The left foot is gonna be on the band. Now, right foot steps back. I want you to be mindful that that left knee stays just above the ankle. You're not going forward, and you're pushing through that left heel. Those abdominals are engaged to keep your posture nice and tall. Bring that right foot back and keep that right heel lifted. We're gonna bend both knees. There's no, there's slack here. Up and give me that bicep curl. Bend and curl, okay? Now option, if it's too much to do both arms for both legs, you can always do one arm at a time. Keep that knee behind your toe as you're pushing yourself up. You're pushing through that left heel. Again, you wanna do 12 repetitions or do what you can. As we move on, <clears throat> we're gonna do an overhead press. Now let's start with that right arm. And I'm gonna stand on the band with my right foot. And I'm gonna bring that right band behind my back. Standing up nice and tall, my palm is facing forward. And I'm just gonna push and extend that arm up and lower. Exhale, extend and lower. Now you can make it a little bit more challenging. The closer your foot is to the handle, the more challenging, the more resistance you'll have. Extend and straighten that arm. Exhale as you push it up, okay? Push it up and extend. A lot of people like to just go here. I want you to get that full extension if you can. Give yourself less resistance so you get that full range of motion. Moving on to the other side, the left side. Now my left foot's gonna stand on the band. I'm bringing that band behind my left arm. Exhale, push up, inhale and lower. Get that full extension of that arm. Exhale, extend, inhale and lower. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna stand on the band with both feet giving the upper body a little bit of a break. <clears throat> Shoulders are back and down. Now this is gonna be for your core. Actually, in particular, those oblique, obliques. I want you to think about squeezing these ribs and hip bones together, keeping your shoulders stacked on top of each other. Now, <clears throat> hands are right down by my side. I'm gonna to lean to the right. Lean directly to the right. So you've got resistance right here in that left side. And stand up tall. Keep the belly button engaged. Squeeze these ribs and hip bones right here. And stand up tall. Focus on those ribs and hip bones. Hold it here, exhale. Inhale and stand. Option, if you wanna multitask, 
You can lean to the right as you lift that left elbow out to the side and stand tall. Just an option. You can just stay focused on those obliques if you'd like. I'm going to lean to the left now. Lean directly to the left. See how this, there's no resistance here now? And I'm squeezing the left ribs and hip bones together. My shoulders are stacked on top of each other. Option here, lift that right elbow out to the side. So that palm is facing your outer thigh. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, squeezing ribs and hip bones, and inhale. Good. I'm going to step off the band. Now, for our final exercise, it is going to be for the triceps, the underarm jiggle that we all hate. Okay, so you're going to have to pardon my back, but I want you to understand what I'm doing here. So I'm going to hold the band in my right hand, okay? And then grab onto the band with your left hand. Now, the higher you grab up onto that band, the more resistance you're going to have. But I want you to remember, I want you to have the range of motion, get that full range of motion with some resistance instead of not doing the exercise properly. So my palm is going to face forward, my elbow out to the side, I'm holding onto the band with my left hand. And now I'm just going to straighten that arm straight up and bend. I'm going to show you how it works this way, how it looks when you're when I'm facing you. Arm out to the side, it's still my right arm. Now I'm going to start with the arm up and now bend that elbow and extend. Bend the elbow. See the elbow stays pointing toward the ceiling. Bend and extend. My left arm is not moving and I want you to watch that wrist. It's almost like those knuckles are punching up toward the ceiling. Now I will, I will tell you that I see a lot of this. Okay, this is shoulder. We already did shoulder. I want you to start with the arm up, then just bend the elbow. Keep that elbow pointing toward the ceiling. Bend and extend. Okay, 12 with the right arm. Let's just do a few with the left arm here grabbing onto that band behind me. I'm going to start with the arm fully extended. My elbow, my shoulder are still. I'm just bending the elbow. I'm keeping my shoulder extended and my elbow points toward the ceiling. So the palm faces behind my head and those knuckles want to punch up toward the ceiling. Extend and bend. Again, the thing is, I would rather you get the range of motion with some tension on it than having too much tension and you just can't get it up there, okay? All right, so this is uh, one of your vacation exercises or tools you can bring along with you and I wanna thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to LWCA Fitness on YouTube. It's the little circle on the side over here. Just click that and then click the bell so that every time you get, uh, we upload a video, you'll get a notification that we have a new, um, a new video for you. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, on the video. Also, feel free to let me know what your um, thoughts are for something new because I'm, oh, I'm always looking for new ideas and if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again so much for your vacation video on YouTube.